Part 4, Chapter 2. Next subtitle, How to Get to Dreams of the Launching Pad. A line that I liked. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed usually comes at the moment of some crisis through which they are introduced to their other selves. I think I have experienced this and again. <laughs> um, actually, financially, I have experienced this. So, at some point after college, I was in a situation where money wasn't coming in the way it was supposed to come in. And I say supposed to come in intentionally. Um, and I didn't expect it. And I had nothing, literally nothing to my name. And I had like debts piling up because of an unforeseen misfortune, aka a death in the family. And I had to travel and I didn't have any money, but I was just like, you know what? I, I really need to be there for my family. So I went and I left my current country and I went to my home country and I stayed there for a while then I came back and I was just like stressed out completely nothing was going right and I had given I had written a notice of termination for my lease <laughs> my apartment and I had no money and I didn't know how I was going to start over, but I knew I wanted to start over. So what ended up happening is like I couldn't. I borrowed a bit of money here and there for from my siblings. But I had to just I couldn't do it for too long. And by too long, it meant I couldn't do it over two months past two months it was too much and it wasn't even that much money because I, I did plan on returning that money that they had lent me but other than that I just had to pay for my rent everything else I could cover on my own but it was difficult so I didn't have enough money for food I didn't have enough money to pay my phone bill I just didn't have any money at that time because like I said I spent it on travel and other traveling expenses. I mean, like family expenses that I won't get into anyways. So I ended up selling, I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to survive. I ended up selling literally whatever I could just to survive. And that's how I got introduced to my other self. I mean, I have been broke before, but never broke like that. And man, that was survival mode like I have never known in my life before. Another line that I liked here. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. The state of mind must be belief, not mere hope or wish. I think I have been mostly hoping and wishing, hoping and wishing, hoping and wishing, and not really believing. But I think... Even me just sitting here and reading this book and writing these notes and recording whatever lessons that I have done and doing a review and editing and publishing on YouTube and just taking a chance is me believing in myself, me believing that this is doing something good for myself, this is doing something good for others. And that all this will come together and turn into something profitable for me. So, and that's the thing about belief. With belief, there is action. And sometimes that action can be quiet and that action can be loud. But it has to be there. And I feel like when the thing about hope and wishing is that hoping and wishing stop somewhere 
it just starts and stops but believing doesn't stop believing persists through time persists through difficult situations and it 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 just forces movement so i have given example of examples of actions sometimes it that type of action doesn't look that way sometimes the action looks like not being anxious i'll give another example i have gone through something traumatic while driving i was involved in an accident over like 10 de- over a decade ago i have wanted to go back to driving but i've always held myself back because of fear anxiety and i doubt myself and now i am ready for a lot of things and some of those things i want to enjoy life i want to give myself a good life and to give my children a good life and part of that is just having the ability to travel and do things like go camping it you see it involves movement right how can i do these things if i am still stuck in my fear so i am talking to myself daily about being ready to driving back again getting my license hopefully purchasing a car right now i don't have any money i'll be completely honest and transparent i have like about like a hundred dollars to my name and i have (laughs) no idea how things are going to work but i'm just believing that they will work but anyways I am ready to have a good life and part of having a good life is having a car and I don't mean it doesn't have to be a fancy car for myself me buying it me owning it me maintaining it by myself without putting a financial burden on my husband I am ready for that so I have to believe that I can do it but what good is it if i do all that but then i i still have fear holding me back so the fear that is holding me back not for me to do it to believe that i can do it is just to let go of that fear let go of that anxiety being calm trusting myself and trusting god to help me overcome my fear that's what i mean by silent belief and loud belief okay another line that i like open-mindedness is essential for belief closed minds do not inspire faith courage and belief nuff said so honorable mentions of people john bunyan o henry charles dickens helen keller robert burns beethoven and milton please look into them i don't have the time right now to do a deep dive but in my quiet time i will do that this chapter closed off with an awesome poem except from a poem i don't know who the poet is but i wrote it down and i'm going to share it i bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more however i begged that evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is just an employer. Sorry, for life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why? You must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire only to learn, dismayed, that any wage I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid. Yo, there's this line, life is what you make it. We have to rise above ourselves, rise above our mentality, rise above our poverty, above our fear, above our depression and anxiety 
rise above our hardship to create the life that we want which is so so challenging it's so challenging because sometimes you have to be your own teacher when it comes to these things nobody can do the work for you you have to do the work for yourself anyways think on that that to me was an awesome poem and that is where i would like to end part four at subscribe